1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary, Alberta and Canada. And Becky Dixon got a jump on it a little bit for all of us. She's up there and she's been looking around, checking out the site. And first, Becky, what is the mood up there now that we're a year away from the competition? Well, Frank, you can really feel the excitement in the air, the anticipation. And that's in spite of the fact that right now, Calgary is no winter wonderland. It hasn't snowed here in 73 days. What if that happens again next year, you might ask? Well, don't worry. Modern technology can make it snow. So that's not a problem. In fact, there are very few problems at any of the Olympic sites as Calgary gets ready to welcome the world. In less than a year, the world will turn its attention to Calgary, Alberta, Canada for the opening of the 15th Winter Olympics. Earlier this week, I traveled to various venues and was impressed with what I saw. My first stop was Nikiska at Mount Allen, site of all alpine skiing events. Located 50 minutes west of Calgary in the magnificent Canadian Rockies, it's equipped with state-of-the-art snowmaking machines and can cover 75% of the trails on the mountain. But I found the slopes a bit icy. But I never fell! Just northwest of Mount Allen is the Canmore Nordic Center. Cross-country skiing and biathlon events will take place at this scenic venue. All other sports will be located inside the city limits of Calgary making it one of the most convenient of Olympic cities. This is Canada Olympic Park. Only 15 minutes from downtown, it will be the site of a dual luge and bobsled track. Just across from the luge and bobsled track is the ski jumping facility. The top of the 90 meter jump is the highest point in Calgary. Still under construction is the Olympic Oval on the campus of the University of Calgary. It is the world's first fully enclosed speed skating facility. Also on campus is McMahon Football Stadium, the site of the opening and closing ceremonies. The stadium is currently undergoing an expansion and will seat 50,000 spectators. This is the last stop on our tour, the Olympic Saddle Dome, home of figure skating and ice hockey. As the name implies, the roof of this building is shaped like a saddle, just one of the symbols of Calgary's affection for the Old West. Now, as you can see, this Cowtown hospitality is really contagious. And if you're planning on coming to the Olympics, don't forget to pack your cowboy clothes. Because in spite of the modern growth, the spirit of the Old West continues to linger. And as we watch the people here preparing for the biggest event in the city's history, we've seen that that same spirit is still very evident. As the countdown to Calgary begins. Coming up next, Evander Holyfield and Henry Tillman for the WBA Junior Heavyweight Championship from Reno, Nevada, 